It is another beautiful evening. Late afternoon, really. And out doing just a little bit of fishing. Um, it's going to be a quiet weather week, it looks like. But it's going to be warm. Um, today was, and today is, today is Monday, 13th maybe. Um, today it was maybe 30, 34 degrees, a little cooler than forecasted. Tomorrow maybe the same. And then Wednesday it looks like 40, maybe some rain, which definitely won't do anything good for the snow. Um, and then we go right back to normal. By the end of the week, it's looking like a highs, maybe in the single digits, lows below zero. So hopefully that's what we need to get the uh, big lakes to freeze over because Gumflin's still open. I would imagine parts of Sag are still open, maybe the big part of Seagull. I think Loon is still open too. So we need that cold to uh, freeze up those big lakes. There we go. What I'm looking for, but it'll work. <clears throat> nice dinky little northern. So this is the east end of Seagull, and this is a really good example of bad early ice on the Gumflin Trail. We don't get this very often, um, and I'll explain what I mean in just a second, but we're out probably maybe, I don't know, uh, five, 600 yards from the public landing. And we'll whack a hole in the ice here. So it's actually pretty good out here. There's almost as much as I can grab, so like six inches of perfectly good ice. And this was the last ice that formed. Um, this ice probably formed on the morning of December 7th, I think, and today's the 15th. So um, we'll uh, go a little closer to shore and whack a hole and see what the ice looks like there. What we're seeing out here that we don't see super often up here in the early season is really extremely variable ice thickness. Uh, there's way more ice out in the middle of the lake than there is close to shore here. And um, it's just because it, how it froze over, how it snowed, how it opened back up again. Um, and when it froze over here close to shore, it wasn't very cold and didn't make much ice like it did out in the middle. So we're getting a little close to shore and I'll chisel a quick hole and we'll see how that compares to what it's like out closer to the middle. <laughs> We're halfway between um, where I did the first hole out in the middle and shore and you saw that. It's like three or four whacks and we're through. Um, here there's probably maybe three, four inches of ice compared to probably seven, eight out there. So it's pretty variable for us up here. That's uh, definitely something to watch out for. And just looking at the ice, if it looks like this, be careful. Drill holes as you go. Make sure you got ice picks in flotation because you could go from standing on eight inches to one inch in one footstep. We're in sight of the landing now, and let's whack another hole here. Kind of the same, way, way less snow or less ice than out in the middle. Well, we're right in front of the landing now, and let's see how many whacks it takes to get through here. A little thicker here and this ice would be quite a bit older 
than uh, the ice in between here and the middle of the lake. So what it looks like is you come out onto probably five, six inches of ice. You walk across about three inches of ice. And then as you get out into the middle, you're on like, it was probably seven, eight inches of good ice. So pretty variable. Um, certainly something I would fish on, but not without all the appropriate safety stuff. Well, it is a very strange, um, oh, what the heck is it? It's Wednesday, December 15th, and I guess it's the calm before the storm. Um, I'm sure everyone that's gonna see this uh, is well aware of the storm system that's moving into Minnesota. Uh, around Lake, it's about, uh, it got up to about 36 degrees yesterday evening, and it's been about that maybe 38 ever since. And the snow is melting down quite a bit on round. It's just plopped with the uh, bare ice underneath. So that's kind of nasty. And it's supposed to start to rain, um, apparently. And we could get, we're in the one to 1.5 inch area of rain. So let's hope that doesn't happen. That's gonna be real nasty. Well, it is, Thursday and it was a pretty nasty overnight storm and it's still nasty. We got about eight tenths of an inch of rain and it wiped out uh, three quarters of our snow here at Tuscarora. We didn't have that much snow to begin with, but now we have basically what we had at the start of December. So a couple inches. Um, I'll go take a look at the lake. It's gonna be so windy that I won't have to can't do any audio but uh, all the snow is melted off the lake and it's just uh, water and crusty ice there's waves on round lake again right there yuck Well, the wind finally quit blowing and the temperature dropped. It's, uh, it's Friday, 17th, I think. So I'm back where we test the snow depth and we'll see where we're at, see what damage was done by the storm here. So we've got about five inches of snow down from, I'll have to look in the other video. I don't remember exactly, but uh, maybe a little more than a foot. So that stinks, losing that snow. Um, the, for the forecast going forward looks pretty normal, so hopefully we'll get some more. Let's go take a look at that lake. So here is what we're dealing with out on the lake. It's, uh, <laughs> it's time for ice cleats. It is nothing but ice. Little patches of snow, but really, you wouldn't uh, really be able to ski on this. Um, and you definitely would want some yak tracks or uh, micro spikes or something like that. It's uh, strange for this time of year to have all the snow melts off the lakes, but I'm not complaining. It'll make ice fishing pretty easy. <laughs> 